There are a lot of videos on YouTube and even TikTok that elicit a visceral reaction from me. Like, I'm just watching it and it's... I see right through you. It's either a poorly thought out prank, a pre-planned reaction, or a morally ambiguous heartstring pluck. But it is easier for me to ignore these types of things at this point because one, it's inevitable. And two, it's usually a much younger demographic that eats this slop up anyway. At least adults know that this person's a doof. But what do you do when the demographic following this shysty nut primarily comprises of full ass grown adults? You make a YouTube video about it because Sid Roth and Randy Clark and any other greedy Muppet alike are terrible, terrible people. I came across a video titled, People Get Healed When They Watch This Video! Exclamation point. Well, I see we finally peaked. You telling me we got divine therapeutics at 1080p? Ah, Jimmy! Oh my god, what's happening? <sighs> I think I'm having a heart attack, Jimmy. I'm calling 911. No, 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 no. Put that down. Go to my liked videos? Yeah, it should be the first one. The first one? Yes! Doo doo fart, doo doo poo poo, doo doo fart. What the fuck is this? Uh, it's intense Pokemon thick no nut challenge? I meant the second one! Fuck! That was your first one, I'm sorry! Gramps! So what the hell's the video? Well, it's just Sid Roth's show. It's supernatural. It's the real, it's Dr. Oz, it's any other daytime TV show, except even more soulless. Sid Roth is the founding father you see at center stage, and he regularly speaks with people who have seen or experienced encounters with God and divine intervention and whatnot. And quick disclaimer before I move on, I'm not trying to bash anybody's religion or lack thereof. Whatever you believe or don't believe, more power to you. That's not the point of this video. So I don't need your bibliographies regarding your debate on religion. I don't care. Neither does anybody else. Sid Roth has a very, very special guest for this episode. Everybody, please put your prayers together. Moses! Moses, Moses, how you doing? I heard you just got in. Yeah, yeah, I just split the Red Sea and boy are my arms tired. <laughs> Thanks. Randy Clark is the guest for today. He is a speaker and a healer. And by healer, I'm sure you know what I mean. We've all seen it. It's some quick judo from a Judas and then Jew feel better. Can't walk? Try again. AIDS, HIV sauce here. Dry cough? Stay over there. This is the decrepit glutton that Sid Roth is promoting today. And the claim for today is just by watching a montage of healing, only by Randy Clark, by the way. It might not work as well if you watch someone else's. This is Randy Clark's footage. By watching this, you can gain the potential to heal yourself. And they go even further by the end of it. But let's have Sid kick us off. Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? What the fuck is this? Am I still playing Heavy Rain? Oh shit! The rest is just as goofy. Like, why does this kind of look like Deji? Why the fuck is Indiana Jones in your attempt at a serious intro? Whatever, I have back pain. Let's start the healing. 100% in both ears, and the doctor said my case is irreversible. There is no way to heal this. But I believe in Jesus Christ. I didn't. I didn't believe in what they said. He can hear. Finally, he can enjoy Raycon every day, eat 25 earbuds like the rest of us. Hi, I'm Mr. Gigi. I can feel it now. One of you out there is gonna be able to save 15% off your order, maybe multiple. Now I bet a lot of you here have your mobile phones in your pocket. Huh? You spent a lot of time on those? Yeah, I still gotta ask my grandkids how to reach the operator. <laughs> you see, I travel a lot, right? So I listen to a lot of audio books. You know, there's some days where I can't even look at this thing anymore. It strains the eyes. And that's when these are the bee's knees. Now you see what I love about these earbuds is that they have great noise isolation. So I don't have to hear my wife. I'm <laughs> just joking. 45 day free return policy. We're talking easy Bluetooth pairing, six hours of playtime. So whoever out there is lucky enough to go to buyraycon.com slash Mr. Gigi or click the link in the description is gonna get 15% off their order. Can I get a thank you, Raycon? <laughs> Don't forget that is buyraycon.com slash Mr. Gigi. 15% off your order, thank you very much.
So Randy Clark explains what's gonna happen here today. He rambles a bit, so let me summarize. Today we are going to watch my video where I heal other people. What will occur is that the people watching at home, at whatever point you're watching this, at least one-tenth of you are gonna receive a healing. He threw us a fraction. We have a sovereign statistic. And no one wants to ask it, so I'll ask it. Why only 10? The big J got limited stock. Healing's on back order. It's fine. We'll take what we can get, Randy. He also says healing will occur before any prayer. And more people will be healed after prayer. And he's got no percentage on that one. I love that he lowballs us with the 10%. It's just enough to make a difference, but small enough to not be disproved. So when you, your aunt, your neighbor and your bookie all still have back pain after watching this. Well, he did only say 10%. I guess we're not one of the lucky 100,000 out of the bunch. Just our luck. <laughs> <clears throat> Question. Can I keep rewatching this to bait out a heel? Is that against the rules? Or is this kind of like a one shot in the chamber kind of thing? And he finishes it off by saying, This video will give you faith. There'll be a sovereign visitation and people will be healed. He just brushes over the sovereign visitation like its terms and conditions may apply. Let's just watch the video. There is no sign of any lump. It's gone and she's completely healed. Randy was saying, believe in miracles, believe in miracles. She felt she needed to go to the bathroom. She went to the restroom and she said she didn't even have time to, to go to the toilet. The stones just went through. Well, how can you be a skeptic after that? I got kidney stones too. Can you heal me? Okay, but could we change the subject, perhaps? Now, something you'll notice in the second half of this montage is he starts leaning into people with metal bars and screws in their body, leaving them incapable of fluid movement in that area. And with a kiss on the cheek and a slap on the ass or whatever they do, they start hitting TikTok dances because Randy Clark is a conduit for the Lord. For example, this woman could not bend her knee due to the metal bar and 12 screws in her leg. I wanna run, I wanna run, I wanna run. Hey, 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 I, I, know, I know you dissolved metal or whatever, but take it easy, let's warm up to that. <laughs> mom, mom, you're gonna- <coughs> Now I'm gonna take the random guess that Randy isn't picking these people's names out of a hat. I would guess either something was discussed beforehand, there are very strict screeners to come on stage, or these are paid actors. I mean, it's no surprise that guys like this have been exposed or at least picked at in the past, from Benny Hinn to Leroy Jenkins. And these people get donations up the ass because people believe some of these people are desperate for a miracle. And fucking Carrie from Orange is the New Black is offering that in one way or another. And if he doesn't get to you, people have this weird thought in the back of their head almost like tipping a waitress and your food's gonna be better. It's like, I'm gonna give this guy money. He then talks about working with other people who have brought people back from the dead. And then funny enough, <laughs> he starts talking about healing people who had suffered from a stroke. And he describes their hand being locked up in a certain way. And these are specific people that he's referring to as he speaks. He is recounting a story. And as he speaks, we're shown footage of what he's describing. And I can tell this is very much B-roll. I'm sure you can too. But there's no dramatization subtext or reenactment label on this. They do that on murder shows and they do it for a reason because then some people will believe what they're being shown is the real footage. And that's not enough to riot over, but I do find it peculiar that Mr. Clark set up a miracle moment to be acted out because that's pretty much what he does on stage. But that gets better. Let's check if we're healed yet. <sighs> nope. So we get more statistics. He says 30 to 40% of people who are healed don't feel anything when they're healed. There's no jolt, there's no shake. It's almost like he's setting you up to not expect anything. He also says people don't know they're healed until they try to do the thing that they could not do. They were healed when they tried to do what they couldn't. Specifically, people with metal bars in their body. To them, he says, 100% of the time, those who were healed did not know they were healed until they tried to do what they could not. And instead of that being a no shit kind of moment, it is taken as, oh, so you have to have faith to be truly healed. You have to try or else you won't work. How the fuck does that not sound like a dangerous precedent to set? If someone is unable to walk and they watch this piece of piss and believe 
they might lift up out of that wheelchair and go for gold. But of course, they drop and potentially injure themselves. That goes for anything. Some guy with limited neck movement might watch this and then try to hit the thriller twitch and potentially aggravate his injury further. That's kind of fucked. And listen to what he says after. Try to do what they can. Just don't try one or two times. Take at least half a minute to a minute to continue. The next story is even better. During a show, that's what I'm gonna call it, because that's what it is, it's a fucking show, he felt a sharp pain in his wrist, and he knew, right then and there, that someone's wrist is gonna get healed. And lo and behold, a man in a motorcycle accident has a pin pop out of his wrist from his injury, and now he can wank to his leisure. But looking at the B-roll slash real footage, Randy is doing a lot more than what meets the eye. Randy is showing you his hand. How ballsy is it that he's doing stuff like this, even as the real enactments because he is showing you that he has the access and the funds to a believable makeup department for injuries. He can afford to do this. He can afford to show you these things. That's how confident cunts like these are. And it boils my nuts that it doesn't matter that you or I don't believe him because as long as he has this subset of people under his wing, we will never hurt his bottom line, which is the only real way you'll affect a man like this. They end the show by turning Randy loose. So some of the people watching at home in the studio audience can be healed. Oprah gives away cars. Sid gives away miracles. Checkmate, ableist. So Randy, the prodigy, the prophet, feels an injury in studio. His right kneecap hurts, meaning somebody in the studio audience has the same pain. Nobody? Well, it must be somebody at home watching that has that same pain, or multiple people, but somebody out of the hundreds of thousands who will watch have pain in their right knee. That's a bold prediction on his end, I gotta say. Multiple people with the right knee injury. Like, right knee injury is the flavor of the day or some shit. Guy's just spinning a wheel up there. Right knee, boom. He's playing Twister. That's what he's doing. He's playing heel and Twister. Right arm, boom, who's got an elbow injury? Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> it just keeps getting juicier. Because then he says, I was talking to my intern who's here. Brian over there is 25 years old. Uh, he felt like God was going to heal somebody that has something wrong with their neck. Yes. Yes. Who the fuck is Brian, though? Ah! Why should we trust Brian? Is he also a conduit? Why doesn't he go run his own thing, then? You can heal more people that way. Isn't that what you're all about? You telling me that Brian... The Brian is an unpaid intern and he's got access to J-Dog? Is he just a side piece? So he makes everybody stand, even at home. And him and this absolute bin have the audacity to add. Yeah, if you have MS, Parkinson's, a learning disability, we've healed people with stage four cancer before too. Fuck these two and fuck whoever associates with them. Them and their stupid little healing televangelist network of fucks. And also, I want to mention this quickly. I mentioned the issue of something being morally ambiguous. If you don't know what that means, an example of that is filming yourself giving money to the homeless. Because on one hand, you gave money to someone in need. On the other hand, you might have filmed it for the vanity. But on the other hand, maybe you filmed it so you can spread good vibes and pay it forward. Or maybe you wanted to go viral and get lots of followers. Round and round we go, Jack. I'm so hungry. I say that to say somebody might watch this, know it's a sham, and think, Hey, they're just trying to give people hope. And to that, I reiterate, I think there could be potential injuries and the clear incentive of money. Donate Now is plastered all over their businesses. If you look at this website, drop a prayer with us and we will pray for you. Horseshit. You're telling me you're individually reading all of these people's stories. I mean, these people are gonna pour their fucking hearts out in this message to you in desperate need of prayer. And you're not gonna read it. And you're not gonna pray for these people. I can't even go through all my DMs. Fuck you. All that probably is, is drop a prayer so you can automatically enlist to our email subscription so we can remind you to buy shit. Back to the audience, these people get up. Who's in pain? Get up. Now try to move what hurts. And he's like, all right, who's already feeling a bit better? Obviously heavily taking the placebo effect into account, along with the reality that some pain comes and goes. And I wouldn't doubt that they introduce small manipulations in the room. At least that's what I would do. Maybe to the effect of a certain smell in the room that maybe make you feel relaxed or something like that. He immediately says, who feels 80% better? And for some reason, some people respond, not a lot. So he backtracks and he says, not 80. How about a little bit? Bit. And the audience, being regular fucking humans, uh, yeah, I suppose. I mean, 
I'm not in extreme pain right now. I'll play along. And then he says, we haven't even prayed yet. I just wanted to show you guys that before prayer, God already begins to heal. So they pray. I'm waiting for a whopper. And it never comes. Like 10 people raise their hand. And all we get is, hey, look at that. Something happened. Not only will there be people healed, said the first time you run this, but there'll be people get healed in the in the reruns. Oh, I'm sure. It doesn't of make that. it. It could be a year from now. This thing's being shown, and God will use the word and use the mm -hmm. testimony and bring healing. So you're telling me God is monitoring the YouTube traffic, and then through your word, He's tossing us a heal or two. Gotcha. It's insane because at the end, Sid gets a fat cock out of nowhere, like someone with the hip injury. Just get up there. Start walking around. Stand up and walk around a little bit, but you'll see it's gone. Heal. And when he's saying shit like this, you know every unpaid audience member is just like, this kind of sucks. I'm still fucking hurt. So he wraps up with, and the healer's not me. It's not Randy. It's Jesus himself. And everybody claps because they like Jesus. It's like a comedian getting the audience back after a bomb. Hey, who's getting drunk tonight? Ahaha, <laughs> yeah. These guys are scumbags. Even if they were to give out good advice here and there, they're scumbags. That's the end of it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Here is your second reminder to please leave a like. Please subscribe because I have more content coming your way. Shout out to my lovely, 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 lovely patrons for supporting the boy always. Shout out to Bobby Lobby for retweeting my last video tweet. As you saw, I just played Heavy Rain on the Mr. GG Live channel. It was a lot of fun. I just reviewed ABC's of Death 2 on my Patreon. And as always, I am Mr. GG, and I am out.